Welcome back to the channel guys, it's just a quick update on the player token, um, in my video yesterday I said that I believe that player could be in a rising wedge, um, which you can see drawn out there, and uh, rising wedge is typically a bearish pattern, and obviously as you can see now, uh, it's fallen out of the rising wedge, price action has, and it's came up to retest the 50 day moving average, and it looks like it's heading back down to the downside and a catalyst um, for this could potentially be the fact that Bitcoin has had a quick pump and then a quick dump uh, back down and um, that's caused a lot of altcoins to uh, bleed as you can see with player there now if you look on the uh, the bitmark chart you can see player did actually drop Roughly 50% there, it dropped. So um, <laughs> you can see the wick's been brought back up, uh, uh, which is good. But you know, there's still it could still continue to the downside. All right. And uh, while looking at the Ocean X chart, uh, that for me is a confirmation that it quite possibly is. Um, if you see over here, we've also got. A head and shoulders pattern head and shoulders you know which you can see that continue back to the downside um, break the neckline it did break it and just come back up for a retest but I can I reckon that's gonna that's got more downside to go okay so uh, yeah I am going to be selling my player based on that because um, I can't see it going back up now I'm actually waiting for a transfer because I actually sent my player out of Bitmart because right now the lowest buy order that's coming in is around 130 Satoshis so I'm going to be able to sell uh, some player over here at 150 uh, 140 I'll be able to sell a lot more player for a better price over here and um, yeah I mean that's player guys I'm not going to huddle the downtrend you know um, so I'm not a ride or die hodler you know, to watch watch my money go down you know it's only fortunate that that week's got bought up do you know what I mean because 100% fall like that can devastate your portfolio or, or however much holdings you've got in any one particular coin um, yeah so I think it's time for me to uh, get out of that especially if you consider the fact that uh, you've got a bearish Matt D cross on the one hour, which looks look like it's coming back up a little bit. If we look on the four hour, on the higher time frame, it does look like we could get across to the upside, but it's not guaranteed. It could just come up and bounce, come up, bounce off the line, and carry on back down to the downside with momentum. And the thing that I look at even more so is the higher time frame on the one day chart. It looks like we're definitely getting a bearish MACD cross to the downside, which is coming, which would indicate to me that in the longer term, um, mid to long term, um, we could see this uh, come back down for a downtrend. And what we're seeing here is we saw the accumulation with a big blow off candle, uh, consolidation, and a fail to break back out above that resistance. Um, it's not guaranteed that it will continue to move down to the downside, but it's a higher probability that it will and I can't see it breaking back up into if it does break up back up into this rising wedge then that's bullish and we could see, definitely see a continuation upwards but uh, for those of you that didn't think that this was a rising wedge um, definitely is you know and uh, yeah guys just a quick update on that I'm still waiting for my player to come into there it normally transfers a bit quicker than that um, well, actually, it transfers quicker from OceanX into Bitmart and a bit slower from Bitmart to OceanX. But that's just the way of the game, uh, isn't it? Uh, Bitmart's, it's okay. You know, it's okay of an exchange, but it's not the best. All right. But, you know, it does the job at the end of the day, doesn't it? So, 
yeah guys that's all it is for now um yeah uh, full disclosure i am selling all of my player at the moment and um i'll definitely look at you know getting into a better position uh down below if it can find support uh anywhere down here well, some of my players arrived, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna go ahead and sell my player. Bear in mind, guys, when I say I'm selling my player, I'm selling for a profit, you know, so I'm not selling at a loss, okay? If we're talking in terms of uh, not selling up here and selling down there and losing some of the profit, then yeah, that's a, uh, that's not really counted as a loss. When you're buying in down here and you're selling up here, or you're buying in down there and you're selling up there, then you know that's profit, isn't it? So uh, yeah, gotta do what's best for you guys. You gotta do what's uh, what makes sense. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I a madman for selling my player? What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.